Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is So You Know's Best here. Here about to give you a demo slash walkthrough of the brand new Apple Magic Mouse. And if you haven't watched my unboxing video of this nice looking device here, I'm gonna leave a little annotation link right on the left hand side of this video. Go check that out. It's a pretty nice box. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how this thing actually works as far as functionality, as far as um, things you can customize on it, and also how it works within a browser itself. And let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and show you just the system preferences here, and I'm gonna let you see. Um, it has a little demo, of course, which is pretty nice about how to actually um use the mouse as well it's pretty standard straightforward it's not hard to learn at all uh now it's showing the the secondary click or the right click you can still right click on it on the right hand side of it like so still do that you can choose to have it go to the left hand side if you really want to um also show you here the uh scroll momentum as far as this will be able to allow you as far as when you're scrolling on the web page how actually hard or fast you push your finger on the mouse how fast the uh, the web page to scroll up and down i'll show you that in a second you can also choose to go without momentum and it basically just goes you know per once you move it and take your finger off it stops the web page all right um screen zoom of course with the control and you can zoom in with the finger there it'll zoom in on the screen like so i think screen flow captures that um and also two finger swipe as far as swiping through photos or swiping through the website i'll show you here in a second also this is where you can actually see the battery level of your mouse here we got 100 percent and also you can change the tracking scrolling and double click speeds now the tracking with this mouse i found actually using it it's not as i got it straight to fast you know but it's not really go it doesn't really go that fast compared to my uh, logitech performance mouse right here i mean this thing you see here I, this thing goes fast so the tracking on the magic mouse is a little bit i'll say weaker than the one on my logitech performance so that's something to notice uh, now i'm gonna go ahead and show you how this thing works in safari and basically here i am in safari now only i'm right here in the middle of a session of safari now i'm gonna try to go back and forth through my web pages here she's basically just gonna be using a two finger swipe here and you're gonna swipe left it goes left swipe right it goes right so this while doing this on the magic mouse it all feels very fluid it, it feels very natural in order to do that hey what's going on fellow youtubers this is so like so i don't know why it's not going okay there it is so it takes a little bit of while you so you have to go all actually do a little complete follow through with the two fingers but it does feel pretty natural with it now as far as just scrolling on the web page itself again just take your one finger and scroll up and down like that and you can scroll on across the whole entire surface of the mouse so i'm all the way on the right hand side scrolling up scrolling down in the middle and on the left hand side so it really is you know, there really is the entire mouse really is the multi-touch server, just like they say. And the overall feel of the mouse pr feels pretty good. And uh, let me go ahead and show you, let me, what am I show you here? Let me go ahead and show you iPhoto here. That works with iPhoto. Where's iPhoto? There it is. And basically, you can still use the same two-finger swipe with this mouse to go and go through your photos like so. So it works pretty well with that. And again, I guess the main thing people were really concerned about expose and spaces and all that. There's not any multi-touch features for that or multi-touch gestures for that yet. I'm pretty sure Apple can do that because I know it can recognize all those gestures. I think Apple is doing like they usually do, hold a couple of features back just to make us want them some more when they finally release them. But uh, I'm not gonna do the, I'm not gonna make this into the review. I have a review video of the mouse here, which will probably be very interesting as far as whether you should get this mouse or not. But it does perform perform very well, and those are a quick look at some of the features and functionality of it. But again, it's been Soldier Knows Best here. I will catch you next time. Catch you later. Peace.